Today, Wednesday of the second week of Lent, we come to the church, Santa Cecilia in Trastevere. Venerated as the patron saint of musicians, St. Cecilia is one of those many Roman Christians who held steadfast to the faith during the early persecutions. She was a Roman maiden engaged to be married to a pagan named Valerian. After their marriage, she brought him to Pope Urban I. Following his meeting with the pontiff, he had a vision which led him to convert. He then prayed that his brother Tibertius would come to the faith as well, which prayer was quickly answered. Cecilia played an important role in both conversions. By the witness of her holy life, and through the catechetical instruction she offered. The two brothers took up the task of bearing the remains of the martyrs, in the course of which they attracted the suspicion of the Roman authorities. When confronted and ordered to sacrifice to a statue of Jupiter, they refused and were beheaded for the faith. Cecilia was arrested next and condemned to suffocation in the bath of her house. This not harming her, she was condemned to be beheaded. After the executioner struck her three times, she was wounded but not killed. As Roman law forbade any more strikes of the axe, she was left to die of her wounds. For three days she persisted, continuing to encourage her fellow Christians in the faith and others to conversion. She finally was rewarded with the crown of martyrdom after giving all her goods to the church and asking Urban to turn her home into a place of worship. For this triumph over her suffering, the history of the church dedicated in her honor begins. The remains of a structure from the late second century after Christ, believed to be the baths in which the patroness was killed, can be seen among other ruins beneath the church. In the second half of the fourth century, a structure believed to be a simple shrine in honor of the saint was built, and shortly thereafter became the seat of a titulus. Under Pope St. Paschal I, a basilica replaced this to serve as a more fitting place for the remains of the saint and her companions, which were then translated from the catacombs of St. Callistus. The medieval period altered the appearance of the basilica and in 1527, a convent was attached to the church. It was likely around this time that the enclosed galleries above the aisles were added to allow the nuns to attend mass without leaving the cloister. In the early 20th century, the crypt was renovated and the chapel before the tombs of the saints was redecorated. Some points of interest from the church include three different staircases which lead down to excavations of Cecilia's house and tomb, as well as the tombs of Valerian, Tibertius, Pope Urban I, and Pope Lucius I. Also is the statue of Cecilia. In 1599, Cecilia's sarcophagus was opened and Carlo Moderno carved this famous statue exactly as her incorrupt body was found. The apse mosaic was executed in the ninth century. And finally, the chapel of Peter and Paul, which includes the text of the letter of Pope Paschal I, attesting to St. Cecilia's incorruption after the renovation of the basilica. <laughs>